Yo, what's up? Steve from Top Tier Arcade. And in this part, we're not fucking around. Mm -hmm. We got 20 games down here. Two in the garage. What works? No one knows. Smoked a huge joint. And, uh, I'm going to tell you how this is going to go down, as the kids say. Do they say that? I don't know. Fifth bedroom. Boom. Uh-oh. More games. Shit's getting real. It's been a long time. So, in this part, we're putting legs on pins. We're putting the steering wheel assembly on Super Sprint. And uh, we're going to uh, put on the control panel for the Vulix that wouldn't go on uh, and through the door. <laughs> and like I said, Blast City was like an, a millimeter away from not making it, so I got a bit lucky. Whew. I just hope I can find the leg bolt. Like everything's prepared as you saw on the table there. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? Let me show you. Want to see something neat? So here are the, um, here are the coin buckets. Hopefully the keys are in there. Thank God I found three keys, slot machine, Miss Pack and Double Dragon. Um, these I think are where all the leg bolts are, or I hope I can put them in there. I'm going to check. Look at this cool thing. I forgot about this. I probably did this five years ago when I got to Atlantis uh, Gottlieb EM. So it was kind of neat. Look at this sticker. that they, Now, don't mind the ceram wrap. I didn't want it to be touched and uh, stained and then even potentially rusted. But look at the cool um, thing. This was on Marco Specialties. If you go, they're there. And if you, they gets for EMs, I think even in solid, like early state, solid state, like Gottlieb, like system ones. Look how cool it is. Mr. Operator, clean machines, earn more money, clean play field at least once each week. Second, Mr. Operator, clean and, and well-lighted machines, earn more money, clean play field at least once each week, and replace burned out light bulbs promptly. I guess there's a bit of comma. Anyways, but that's cool, eh? That's, that's neat. I like that. I think that's kind of cool, kind of quirky. Anyways, uh, that not seen anymore. <clears throat> Um, the legs go on. I got the toppers uh, for TMNTLE and the Hobbit, which was oh god, I can't remember the uh, the company that did it now. And that's the marquee for the Blast City. Excuse me, the Vulex. So I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna just put things in place, and then um, once everything kind of gets legs once the pins get legs and once these games come up i'll give you kind of a halfway point of where i'm at and to see how we're doing so it's the next morning things have progressed pretty good i've organized everything let me show you the progress um i have all the tools and everything here for quick access there is my hydraulic li hydraulic lift trolley <coughs> which is amazing i'm gonna use for the pins uh, there's both of them set up quick things that happened and why it took a bit longer why the pins are not on legs um, the Vulix was easy But I you know it was all plugged in and working everything was good and then blast city I had an issue with the the Naomi Pi and it going to the um, you know to the motherboard and like to the Naomi 2 and it wouldn't turn on and it was taking forever and I was cleaning it out just because it's, you know, now here for now for good. Um, and I locked, I locked the keys on under and this is the only one I have. So I'm like, uh oh, and I'm sitting there for an hour. How am I going to do it? My wife came down and was like, hey, come on. I've been messaging. Let's go for a walk or eat or whatever. Um, and I'm like, hey, come here. And then she's like, huh, is there a way? Is there a latch? I'm like, no, this is its own thing. There is a way that there's a hole here underneath and a hole here. If you reach in like that, it will push the hook 
forward and it will no is it front or back i think it's front you push it and it releases the latch and then so there is a way to get under it if you lock the keys fyi you just reach in um so and then when that got working i looked back and the the monitor was off i could hear the game i'm like what the hell is that and I'm like, oh my God, because I thought, because this uh, this has both, it has two power supplies in this. It was to run the GD-ROM, but um, I thought it like shorted it. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And then I started, you know, thinking, you know, why did they sell this house and how did I get it? And, and like freaking out. And I just, and I looked behind here and I just undid the screws and I just plugged in, you know, like a computer power supply, like to the TV and it shocked me and it got working. The green light came on and then it came on. So yeah, it was just unplugged because this one Mary and I took by ourselves and it was a bit shaky. So it must have come loose. So yeah, both are working great. That's an update. Uh, and here's where it gets kind of cool. Everything's nice and organized. Organized Hobbit topper, uh, TMNT LE topper, or just for the game. Coin buckets, The um, I checked yesterday, good news, because I was concerned. Leg bolts and everything are there, so I'm sure that Hobbit's the same. Oh God, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, they are. I'm a little nervous if I'm going to be able to take the glass out a la Doug, who shot my dreams down, <laughs> but he's so right. Uh, and then Ricky's like, Steve, I don't know, man. I might have to put them back this way to get and then get the the the, the glass out in between here. I don't know. So let's see how it goes. Two. Quick change of plans. Doug was right. I cannot put them this way. Oh, um, they don't work because I won't be able to pill up the glass. This way I can just angle the game and uh, they'll come out just past the Blast City and the Vulix. Two people can sit, two people can sit, two people can play, and then three can even sit here and watch. Plenty of room, nice little lit room. Creates a cool atmosphere when the game uh, room is just by itself and lit by the games. I'll be back for further progression. All right, let me show you it. Everything's set up. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Bulix, Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. And the beautiful, beautiful Whip Toppers, Hobbit LE, Smog Edition, and uh, Teenage Mutant Internals LE. Um, with uh, stern and with toppers everything plays pretty good definitely gonna be loud in here uh, let me show you really quick what it looks like with the lights off there's so much light from the pins and from the vids as well that look at it pretty cool eh? okay I'll be back so it's the next afternoon I started to put the the legs on the pins Atlantis uh, EM uh, the head is there. I just had to play around with uh, a few of the bolts and the legs got confusing a bit. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, next, I'll show you with them all on our floors and uh, with the saran wrap and the heads ready to be lifted up. So, looking pretty good. Atlantis, I put the head on it just to put it in the corner to get the heads lined up <coughs> as a starting point. And uh, the end where the Pachinso slot machine um, is sitting there so it looks pretty cool so far it's pretty straightforward next I'm gonna have uh, the wheels on super sprint on and I'm gonna have the heads on with bolts and then we'll turn them on and test our luck and see what happens all right so it's the next morning I was up till 1 a.m. I just it took longer but the result is great who let me show you here we go not perfect but coming along Marvel vs. Capcom 2, working, uh, Street, Street Fighter 4, Four arcade, arcade Edition, working, Hobbit LE with Topper, TMNT LE, Topper, so those are on, here's where it gets exciting. So, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, it works, but there's no sound, so I'm considering that out of order, Street Fighter 3 definitely doesn't work, it needs a lot, uh, so I put those, uh, those signs on there, Mortal Kombat 1, I think I turned it on and did nothing, so I don't know. Mortal Kombat 2 works, but the monitor's shit. Killer Instinct 1 and 2, I didn't even try. No, I think I tried 1, it didn't work, so I left it. 
Miss Pac-Man up and running. Frogger up and running. Double Dragon, I think it only needs a power supply. That's going to be the first one I work on and clean up. Super Sprint is up, but uh, not working. Uh, monitor issues. And uh, here comes the fun part. Now, I'm going to move around the plugs and everything, but there they are. Atlantis EM, Gottlieb, Gottlieb RoboWar, Swords of Fury, TMNT, Data East, Dracula, and uh, BSD, and uh, the uh, Tony Onoki Pachinzlo slot machine. So, Mary, come here. I want to show you something. I haven't really showed her yet. So, I just turned the lights, and then maybe we'll turn the lights really quick. Come, come, come. Let me show you. Come in this room, the fifth. So that's up and running. You've seen that before. Oh, I got the toppers on. Yeah, top is on. Everything's working. Oh, that looks really good. Cool. Come. The yeah, the eyeball. Yeah, that's why it's $1,200. What? Yeah. You're <laughs> Well, that's pinball baby. So again, the ones obviously that have the sign don't work. Uh, Miss Pack works, Frogger works, which is nice. Signs are cute. And that sign, yeah, they're, they're kind of fun. And then all the pins. What do you think, huh? So far, so good. Uh, I hope the amperage holds. That's the next thing. Doug's like, don't do anything. We're gonna come and label which, which is where. I'll probably need another 8 to 10 amps for the other games. Now, I don't know. That's where the TV is going to go because, remember, we're going to have to plug. Oh, Mary, hold this for a sec. Mm -hmm. Here, record this. Yeah. Let me turn the lights off. I mean, too bad. It, I mean, it's a bright, beautiful day, so it's not like it's a bad thing. Let me just turn this off and get an idea what it would look like. It's kind of cool, huh? Mm-hmm. And then do here Frogger. Look how beautiful. That monitor should look like that. Sasha did a great job in restoring this. It's fucking mint. Fuck, I wish all my monitors were like that. Uh, unfortunately, this row is all down, but we'll get there. And then let's quick thing, and then we'll cut this part because it's been eventful. Look at that. There's, you don't even need light in here. And the cool thing is you can have like a bit of lighting. Did you know this, Mary, that there's a light on this uh, mm -hmm. fan? Yeah. Just found that out. Looks cool, huh? Mm -hmm. You don't even need, yeah. And then obviously the past owners, I haven't even opened that window, eh? Might okay. be a good idea. But anyways, look like guys, that's part three of creating top tier arcade 1.5. It's coming together. Things are so far so good. Obviously, you have to tinker with things. Um, what my goal is, is to get everything up and running, make sure it works, then maybe go back in and tinker with it here and there. Uh, a few things here and there have to be like some things here are stuck, but that's easy. It's been a pleasure. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please subscribe. Things are getting real, finally. It's been a long time since I've been saying it. Subscribe, like, share, subscribe, all that deal. Uh, let me know your comments on what you guys think. Any tips, any feedback is welcome, uh, which probably is going to be some negative, but what to do, that's online. Well, Mary, that's it, it is. People shit on you just because sometimes you're doing okay. But it's been a pleasure. Thanks again for checking out Top Tier. Mary, thank you for helping. You've been a huge help as well in the creation of this. All the best. Peace.